This morning, attorneys general in 23 states are blasting Hyundai and Kia, claiming the automakers have failed to address the spike in thefts of their vehicles. In Milwaukee alone, nearly 7,000 Kias and Hyundais were stolen in 2021, a nearly 800 percent increase in one year. Imagine how you would feel if you go to work, school, etc., and hope that you still have a car when you come outside. The attorneys general saying for vehicles made between 2011 and 2021, Hyundai and Kia chose not to include anti-theft technology that most manufacturers include as standard. The little effort it takes to steal the vehicles prompted a challenge on social media, leading to more thefts. Officials say it's a problem not just affecting the car owners. They say these stolen vehicles are often driven recklessly or used to commit crimes. Many of our shooters are shooting from stolen vehicles and many of our shooting victims are being shot in stolen vehicles. Kia and Hyundai have offered free software upgrades requiring a key to start the vehicles and making the car's alarms sound for longer. But critics say it's too little too late. They want more action. We need to know what Kia and Hyundai's plan is for people who, uh, who are not able to get that software. We need to make sure that people who can't access the software are able to get uh, steering wheel locking devices free of charge. Uh, and so we also need to know what Kia and Hyundai are going to do to help the communities that have been impacted by these steps. In statements yesterday, Hyundai said all of their vehicles meet federal requirements, and Kia said it's contacted more than one million customers about software upgrades. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.